Hello, in this presentation I show manual and spreadsheet calculations for percentiles and quartiles. I'm Pat Obi, Professor of Finance and Quantitative Methods at Purdue University Northwest. I begin with percentiles and I show here that a percentile will give us the value below which a given percentage of observations in a data set fall. And as an example, I show here that it's that 20th percentile would be that value below which we have 20% of the observations um, in a sorted data set. It means we have to line them all up from the smallest value to the highest value and then we identify the position of the 20th percentile. And that's actually the key word, position, because a percentile as well as quartile is going to give us the, posi the position of the number we seek in the lineup of um, data set. So here's a little um, a joke I like to use to illustrate the significance of percentiles. Say, you know, you took a test and you made 95%. So you go out and, um, you know, giving yourself thumbs up that, hey, I, you made 95%, which is a pretty solid A on the test. And then someone, uh, maybe a professor, comes and tells you, oh, that, by the way, your score is a 20th percentile. What this simply means is that you're, that you, that um, only that you did better really than 20% of the students in the class and that a whopping 80% of the scores are above 95% and so we have a lot of scores that are above 95% all the way to 100% so all of a sudden you're deflated and here you are pouting because you found out that even though you did pretty well on the exam but um, you uh, not in a position to feel as inflated, as proud as you, you know, as Superman that you thought you were uh, relative to the other students who took the test. Anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, do a quick example using this data set. We took a random sample of seven individuals and here are their ages. So you can see here that person number one um, is 35 years of age, person number four, 38 years of age, person number seven, 35 years of age. So the variable here is age, and this is a distribution of the ages of these seven individuals. So now, we wish to calculate the 25th percentile. Um, we're going to use manual calculation to start with. And of course, this 25th percentile is going to be that value below which we have 25% of the ages of the individuals on the data set. So now, what we're going to do first of all is to take these um, observations and we're going to sort them like I did here from the smallest youngest person's age to the oldest person's age and then going forward the first step here is to find the position where that um, 25th percentile lies all right where the value lies so this is the uh, formula the approximation um, formula that you want to use it's really it really is a sample size plus one multiplied by uh, the percentile by the percentile so now we have seven observations I go back here you can see we have sample size of seven so this is eight right multiplied by 0 0.25 25 percent right, that comes out to be two so what this is telling us is that the 25th percentile observation is the value that lies in the second position and so quite so simply one two this is the second position and in this second position we find the guy right here and that guy is mister 22 and so the number 22 is the 25th percentile the number below which we find 25 percent uh, sorry below which over here we find 25 percent of the observations and above which we, we find um, uh, 75 percent of the observations from the sorted data sets now then how about 70th percentile well this is a little tricky here because when you find the position you're gonna get a um, you're gonna get a fraction right here so it tells us that the 70th percentile is the value in the 5.6th position I know that sounds awkward but that's really what it is so in the same way we're gonna find the value that lies in the 5.6 position
And so again, looking at the sorted uh, data sets, that's uh, first position, second, third, fourth. This is the fifth position. This is the sixth position. And so we know that the position value we look for is going to be somewhere in here. It's going to be 5.6. So the fifth position is number 35. And then to that, we're going to add um, the fractional um, distance from 35 to 38. So now look at this. The distance from 35 to 38, as I show here, is 3. So there are 3 units of distance from 35 to 38. And then we're going to go uh, 6 tenths of that distance. That's what you see right here. 6 tenths of this distance is 1.8, which is basically 0.6 multiplied by 3. All right, And therefore, the 5.6 position would be the value 36.8, which is 35 plus 1.8, where again, 35 is the fifth position, is in the fifth position, and then going 6 tenths of the way from 35 to 38, we catch 1.8. So adding them together, we find the uh, value we seek, and that's 36.8. And therefore, the 70th percentile is approximately 36.8. Now, though, we can do this quite so easily using Excel by uh, utilizing the uh, function key percentile.exe um, and then we identify the array of values and then the percentile value. So uh, let's do it. Go here to Excel. So here's our data set right here. All right. Um, then to calculate the 25th percentile, I'm going to sit there, equal um, percentile. All right. Before you're done typing it, Excel is going to give you um, the functions. This is the one you really want, the one that includes um, uh, uh, the one that's uh, exclusive of, of the values. All right. Um, so let's uh, double click that and then uh, highlight all of these. And it tells you put comma. So we're going to put comma, and then it says K. K is the percentile. So you have a choice. You can type in 0.25 or you can type in 25 percent. All right, either or is fine. And it's going to give it to you. Let's go ahead and increase the decimal uh, places a little bit. And that's the value you seek, 22, for the 25th percentile. Now, though, for the 70th percentile, which is the second one we calculated, equal percentile. Again, double click. You can type it all out or you can quickly double click it to let the computer give it to you. So now we highlight all of these, comma, and then 0 0.70. All right, that's it. And that's the value that you want. Now then, going back here to the presentation, the other are quartiles, all right? And, uh, and I, I note here that quartiles simply divide a rank ordered or uh, sorted data set into four equal parts, as I illustrate right here. So this says that the first quartile would be the value established right here, which is going to be that value below which we have 25% of the observations, a quarter of the observations. This is the second quartile right here. It's going to be the median, the number in the middle, below which we have one half of the data set and above which we have one half of the data set. And then this part right here, this point right here is going to mark the third quartile below which we have 75% of the observations or three-fourths of the observations and above which we have one quarter um, or 25% of the observations. So as you can already see, the first quartile, which is established right here, is going to be the 25th percentile. And this third quartile right here is naturally going to be your 75th percentile. So we can either use the percentile functions to obtain the quartiles, or we can use the quartile functions to find um, the um, to find the uh, uh, the results as well. And then, as I show here, the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile is called the inner quartile range and measures the difference between the two. So it, in some ways, it's a measure of variability because it captures the spread. 
based upon which we have the middle 50% of the data sets. So the larger the number, the larger the spread between those two uh, percentiles, the upper, uh, between those two quartiles, the upper quartile, same thing as the third quartile, and the lower quartile, same thing as the first quartile, as I further explain out here. So now, we can use Excel to calculate these quartiles. So for example, let's go back here, just for the first quartile, all right, as you are typing it, Excel is going to give it to you. Double click it right quick and then highlight all of these, comma, and then it prompts you right here. It says type in one if you want to calculate the first quartile or two if you want to calculate the second quartile which is the median or three which is the third quartile the same thing as it's 75th percentile. So we want the first quartile so I'm just gonna type one and close parenthesis and that's the value right there. So as you can see the first quartile right here is the same thing as it's 25th percentile.